Here I'm going to show you how to completely hide the Excel ribbon menu system every time that an Excel workbook is opened. Now this is part four of the uh, Excel 07 tips and tricks series and um, basically what I'm going to do is show you how to write a macro that hides the ribbon menu in a specific workbook. It's not going to hide the ribbon menu system for all Excel workbooks only the specific one where you put this macro. I also have a list of commands down here or basically just keyboard shortcuts that may help you. Control F1 is to partially hide the ribbon. Alt F11 to get into the Visual Basic screen and Alt F8 to open the list of macros that are uh, accessible to the workbook. Now um, just real quick to show you how to quickly hide the ribbon menu system it's Control F1. So when you do that you uh, tuck it away right up here and you can click the buttons to get the ribbon back. So you can go to any of the tabs and as soon as you click a cell it disappears. But that only partially hides the ribbon menu. So now let's go ahead and start writing the macro that's going to hide the ribbon menu every time you open this Excel workbook. So basically you're not going to be able to do uh, anything to it after you open it. Uh, at least as far as editing uh, via the ribbon menu is concerned. So to get to the Visual Basic menu or screen, hit Alt F11. And the screen looks just like this. So next what you want to do is double click this workbook. And if you have a bunch of workbooks open, you're going to see a lot of things over here. Just make sure you are in the desired workbook. So double click this workbook. A little window is going to open. I'm going to resize it real quick. And now we can start writing the macro. So first, click the drop-down menu where it says General, then click Workbook. And it should then say Private Sub, Workbook Open, and End Sub. You want to put the macro between these two parts, and now we can start writing it. The macro is Application dot Execute Excel for Macro and notice how the Excel for macro part is uh, shows up right here so that's how you know you're doing it right then quotation show dot toolbar close parentheses quotation quotation ribbon quotation quotation comma false close parentheses and one more quotation mark now we have the macro. So let's go ahead and close this screen. And then let's save this workbook real quick. Now make sure that you save the workbook as a macro enabled workbook. Otherwise the macro isn't going to save with it. And quickly I'm going to hit control F1 to bring the ribbon back. And so now let's close this and reopen it and see if the ribbon menu disappears. So I'm going to go ahead and save it and close it. Now here's the file. So open this up. And it's gone. So notice how um, when you first see it the menu's there and then the macro runs and it makes it disappear. So the ribbon menu is now completely gone including the office button and the mini toolbar. So you can't use any of those commands basically unless you know the shortcuts. Now, the benefit of doing this is that if you send a worksheet out to someone and you only want them to be able to read it, but you don't really want them to be able to uh, edit it or do a lot of other things to it, that's where this comes in handy. So every time this workbook is open, the menu is going to uh, disappear. And there's really no other way you can get the menu back here unless you write another macro. Or you go into the uh, Visual Basic screen and delete this macro, resave the workbook, and reopen it. So if I do that, I'm going to delete the macro, close this, hit Control S to save, then I'm going to close this, reopen it, and then the ribbon is back. So that's how you can get the ribbon menu back if you realize that you didn't actually want to take it away in the first place. So this is how you can write a macro to make the ribbon completely disappear when Excel opens and also how to remove the macro. Now if you want to download this spreadsheet including the macro code, 
you can simply go to teachexcel.com, search for this video, and the spreadsheet will be right there.